Hello, all you wonderful lambs everywhere in the world. Today, I'm here to pray for you. And today, I'm going to be praying Psalm chapter 36, verses 1 through 12, over you precious lambs everywhere in the world that are being persecuted by your persecutors throughout this world through these different types of modern-day slavery programs. So today, I hope you are doing as well as you possibly can with the help of the Lord. And I just want you to know that Jesus loves you, and so do I. And Jesus is always there for you and with you, even though it doesn't seem like it because of the circumstances. But Jesus is always there beyond the circumstances all the time for you, oh precious lambs, everywhere in the world that are being afflicted and persecuted and oppressed by your persecutors through these different types of modern day slavery programs throughout every day. So anyway, I ask for all the listeners that take the time to listen to me. I want to say thank you. And I want to ask that you will also like my episodes and share them with others. And that you will also subscribe to Spreaker and subscribe to other social media platforms that's connected to the Spreaker network system. So I would appreciate your extra support besides your listening support. And I thank you for the part that you do with your listening ears and giving your listening ears. So I thank you for that. And I just ask for you to go to Extra Step more and subscribe and like and share my episodes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So now I'm going to pray Psalm 36 from the King James Version Bible over you precious lambs today. So I'm going to start. The transgression of the wicked said within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are in iniquity and deceit. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He had left off to be wise and to do good. He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He set it himself in a way that is not good and a horde not evil. So this is what your perpetrators do to you precious lambs. That's how they operate with that type of attitude of iniquity and transgression that they do against you to do evil tactics against you through these different types of modern day slavery programs and they do not abhor evil and they do not fear God and they plot evil against you every day and set up in their bed and plot evil against you every day through these different types of modern day slavery programs so this is what God is going to do God will deal with them verse 5 thy mercy O Lord is in the heavens and thy faithfulness reach it unto the clouds father i thank you for extending your mercy father god that is in the heavens and your faithfulness that reach it into the clouds unto your children and the persecuted lambs today and every day father god Thy righteousness is like the great mountains. Thy judgments are a great deep, O Lord, that preserves man and beast. Father, I thank you for your righteousness is like the great mountains, and your judgments are a great deep, O Lord. And I thank you, Father, that you preserve it. your children and the persecuted lambs and their beasts, their animals, Father God, their pets as well. In Jesus Christ's name, how excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings, Heavenly Father. Father, I thank you, Father God, for releasing your loving kindness upon your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world. And that your children and the persecuted lambs put their trust, Father God, under the shadow of your wings. And they put their trust in you, Father, because you are trustworthy all the time. And you are faithful to your children, Father God, and loyal to your children and to the persecuted everywhere in the world, Father God. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shall make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. 
thy pleasures. So, Father God, I thank you that your children and the persecuted lambs shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of their house, of their houses. And, Father God, you shall make your children and the persecuted lambs drink of the river of your pleasures, Father God. For with your children, Father God, and the persecuted lambs is the fountain of life. In thy light, Father God, shall your children and the persecuted lambs see light, Father God, that comes from you because you are their light, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. Oh, continue, Father God, thy loving kindness, Father, thy loving kindness unto them that know thee and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Father, I ask that you will continue your loving kindness unto your children and the persecuted lambs who know you. And Father God, your righteousness to the upright lambs and your children in, that are upright in heart, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And that you will let not the foot of pride come against your children and the persecuted lambs. And that you will let not the hand of the wicked, Father God, remove your children and the persecuted, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. You said in verse 12, there are the workers of iniquity fallen. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, there are the workers of iniquity fallen, Father God, and they are cast down and shall not be able to rise because, Father, you have cast down the workers of iniquity that persecute your people and the innocents and that persecute the persecuted, Father God, through these modern day slavery programs, Father, in Jesus Christ's name and the workers of iniquity that persecute and oppress your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, are fallen and they will not be able to rise because you are casting these evil workers of iniquity and persecutors that come against your children and the innocents and the persecuted through these different types of modern day slavery programs throughout the world, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, according to Father God, Psalm 36, verse 12, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I thank you that some chapter 36 verses 1 through 12 is done in the lives of your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world Father God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ name amen
Yeah.